Irvington public housing residents say they are fed up with horrific living conditions and they want the Irvington Housing Authority now to step in and make it right. News 12 New Jersey's Naomi Yane is in Irvington tonight with those details. Naomi. Kurt, it all started with a Facebook Live posted by a community activist who was concerned about the living conditions here at the Crescent Lane Public Housing Complex. And tonight, those tenants are airing out their grievances. There's mold growing on the walls. The ceiling fell down. I had a stove that worked for three days. Now those are just some of the complaints tenants at Crescent Lane Apartments have for the Irvington Housing Authority. Community activist Alethea Gibbs brought residents concerns to our attention after she was contacted by a tenant. She showed me the pictures and I'm looking like that's your apartment. I didn't believe it at first because it was so bad. I thought it was fake. These are the before pictures from the first floor apartment of Harriet Blackwell Mangum. These pictures were from about three days ago. Now, since that Facebook Live was posted, the Irvington Housing Authority has come in and updated her bathroom and installed a new stove. Now, the Housing Authority tells us they only knew about the conditions in the apartment after seeing the Facebook post. Uh, the tenant uh, did not come to us either by email phone or walking in to say there were any issues with the apartment. Ms. Blackwell Mangum tells a different story. I ask, I talk, I send letters, I try to be jovial about it, but underneath all that, I'm pissed. Interim Director of the Irvington Housing Authority, Ramon Rivera, tells us that Crescent Lane Apartments is slated to be torn down and replaced with brand new affordable housing. But until then, his office will continue to make repairs if they get work orders. Sometimes the tenants aren't home, so we have to come back, but it, it does get completed and fixed. We operate as if the, this demolition and transfer may never happen. You know, we, we treat our tenants as they're going to live there forever, so we make sure they're clean and safe. Residents hope to draw attention to an issue they say isn't just happening here at Crescent Lane, but across the state. I hope they start caring for the people about the people, because no matter how much rent you pay, whether it's market rent, uh, low income, you know, housing section 8, People deserve better. Naomi, in the story, you mentioned the buildings are scheduled to be demolished. Well, what's the Housing Authority planning to do with those displaced residents then? So the Housing Authority tells us they are in the process of clearing those apartments out. They're offering current residents um, vouchers to live elsewhere in the meantime. And they also said that they're welcome to come back once that work is done. But that work can be completed uh, between now to five years. So it may take some time and folks may not want to come back. However, the residents who are currently living here now say they want to see some changes, Kurt. Understandable. Naomi Yane in Irvington tonight. Thank you.